Hi girls, we've got some gorgeous new things to show you this week and what I'm wearing here um, are two pieces from the designer Pulse. Um, the blouse is absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely love the sleeve detail on it. Um, it is quite boxy and you can actually wear it out or you can wear it tucked in all the way round. But the way that I like to wear it is where I just sort of tuck part of the front and then leave the back out. That's quite a, a, a cute trend at the moment. Um, so I'm wearing the um, khaki coloured, um, well they're, they're kind of in between a, a jean and a chino. Um, I've popped on the Vimoda mock croc belt and I'm also wearing the brand new colour in the Alpi biker boot. Hope you can see those. Um, in the new khaki green. They also look great casual down with just a very easy t-shirt. This is a beautiful one from Hayley Menzies and although it is a bit pricey it's so versatile. I've got this colour but it also comes in black and I've worn it quite a few times already you know with my blue jeans with black um, and obviously it looks lovely with the khaki. Um, just want to show you the sort of side view um, so that you can see how the zip of the jeans slash cargoes open out over the, over the biker boot. Um, and another alternative um, to the biker boot, if that's not your kind of thing, would be the trainer. And this one um, from Unisa is great because it's got the khaki colour in it. I also think they look great with this cute little lime t-shirt from Fabienne Chapeau. And the thing about Fabienne Chapeau t-shirts, they're not just any t-shirt. They feel absolutely beautiful. And they always put tiny little details on. So you've got a gorgeous little gold detail here with um, Fabienne Chapeau on it. That would be a good t-shirt to have with gin and tonic, wouldn't it? It would turn good. I actually think this outfit would be more appropriate for your gin and tonic girls. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a gorgeous wrap skirt. You don't have to do it yourself. It's already done. It's got slight elastication at the back, so it's easy to get into. Um, just a beautiful piece. If you're anything like me, I can't wait to get my new gear on. Um, but sometimes the weather is against us. But I think if you put your little denim jacket on with this outfit, and you know if it's not warm enough to wear your trainers you could just put a boot underneath it. I've popped on a little sweater from Be Young, nice little slash neck, a little bit of a, of a bat wing but not too much, I still think you could get a denim jacket over it. Um, I've tucked it in at the front but it is a little bit longer as you can sort of see from the side and again I've teamed it with the with the Unisa Farola trainers and last but not least um, this really cute necklace from Envy which just sort of picks out the colours on the skirt. This is a beautiful gypsy skirt from our new brand POM from Amsterdam and it's actually the business is owned by two sisters uh, one of whom is an artist and all of the print that you see here and on all of their products is hand painted by one of the sisters which I think is a, is a really lovely piece of provenance. Um, now this is just a really versatile skirt. It's elasticated on the waist so you know it doesn't really matter um, what size you are within you know within reason um, and you can wear things over the top of it so the little white sweater, for example, that I had on um, with the lime skirt would work equally as well with this one. Um, in this case, I've just put on a little cap sleeve um, t-shirt from Be Young and our fabulous Vimoda stretchy belt, um, which just emphasises the waist. Um, you could put a posh jacket on with it if you wanted to and different kind of footwear, but I've kept this on quite a casual note and put the Alpi uh, suede cowboy boots. These are the, the, the light embroidered ones. And again, just a little bee um, denim jacket. The skirt also looks great with just a little jumper tucked in, as long as it's not a thick one, that's sort of gonna add um, more size to your waist. 
Um, but this one comes in three colours and actually all three colours go with this skirt. So you've got the lovely tan colour that I'm wearing, sort of terracotta colour, um, which is sort of featured in the skirt. You've got a blue, which is here, so the blue would also work. And, you know, the white really sort of generally goes with anything. Lovely thing about this um, piece as well, it's made from an eco fabric, so um, it's sustainable too. I'm a little bit in love with this Fabienne Chapeau maxi dress. I think the print colours are absolutely beautiful. And I think it's actually quite versatile. So I've actually sort of dressed it down how I'm wearing it now, just with the belt and the cowboy boot. Hopefully soon we'll all be able to go out out and then you can sort of elevate the look. And um, how I would wear this in an elevated way is I would keep the little self coloured belt on it rather than putting um, a separate belt because this actually makes it look a little bit more casual and then I just change my footwear so either something elegant like this which would be gorgeous for an event or something fabulous and gold um, and then just you know change my accessories to go with it. This is the gorgeous Mia uh, maxi dress from Fabienne Chapeau. Um, it comes quite long as you can see so I would probably have to have this shortened a little bit but for those of you girls that are tall you know it's a it's going to be a really good length for you um, now again this can be casual or dressy um, and I've just put some Alpi suede shoots with it to sort of like take it down a, a, a level um, comes with its own little belt as well um, but I love the fact that it's got gorgeous pockets this is the Karma blouse from Fabienne Chapeau and I absolutely love it. It's got some great detail, so you've got a little frill here, um, which also is echoed on the back. You've got elasticated cuffs, which again are frilled. I've got very short arms, so you can't always see all of them if you push it up too high, but I think it's just a fantastic detail. I like the fact that you can have a little bit of bum coverage if you want to, but if not, um, you could just literally, you know, sort of tuck the front in like that, do a sort of LA tuck. Um, I've teamed it with these jeans, which are actually from Bia. Um, when you're buying denim that isn't premium denim, I would always recommend to go at least half a size up from what you would normally take, which I've done here, because when I put on my size that I would normally be in premium denim, um, I felt like a sausage in the skin, you know. It, so, but if you go up a size, um, it just makes them look a little bit more flattering. And they're in a really good kind of like straight shape and then just cuff them at the bottom so that you can wear them with your trainers. Um, you know, I've got them on with these peep toe shoots or you could do them, you know, tucked over your boots as well because they're a straight shape. I've got to say, B Young have pulled it out of the bag this season and um, they've created, you know, a really, really cohesive collection of, of trendy things that are fabulous fabrics. And this t-shirt is no exception, it feels gorgeous. Comes in the black colourway and the white, which I'm going to pop on now. And this is the white one. The type of jacket that I would put with a logo t-shirt and jeans would be something like this, a bit longer. Obviously you wouldn't put a denim jacket because that would be double denim. Um, but something like this, which is like a, a sort of a linen effect, um, longer line jacket, just sort of hitched up onto your, your arms, I think looks really good because it creates the right length. Duncan's doing something very silly with his glasses at the moment to try and distract me. <laughs> Cute little t-shirt in this fabulous sort of like tan colour uh, for summer. Um, and I love this colour with denim. I think it's like a perfect little marriage. Um, and I'm just going to pop the jacket on over the top just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So this is the jacket, which obviously sort of t picks the um, sort of creamy coffee colour out of the t-shirt. Um, but the reason I like a, a boxy jacket like this is because it gives a really good dimension to the whole look. 
um, where you've got legs coming out the bottom, so you've got your skinny coming out the bottom and then you've got your box on the top. But another a little tip, if you are wearing a box on the top, is to hitch your sleeves up onto your forearm, because this is where we are narrow. Um, I'm just gonna pull them down just to show you how much bigger the image looks if you've got them, you know, kind of extended fully. I think this is a great little jumper from Bia and an excellent price. Um, comes in three colours, this gorgeous terracotta, and we've got a sky blue and a white. Um, things that I like about it, it's as light as a feather. The other thing, when you've got jeans on or trousers, um, you don't even need to LA tuck it because it's giving you quite a short kind of front to it. But if I turn sideways, they've scooped the back, so you do get a little bit of um, bum coverage. Uh, but it's just the easiest jumper to wear and I am going to pop on the jacket again just to show you that even though you've got a back wing sleeve here or a slight back wing, it looks perfect under a jacket. So this is it with the jacket on and the other thing that I forgot to mention is why I'm wearing a long necklace with this sort of boxy um, back wing jumper and the reason for that is because it is a box, this just sort of like tricks the eye into giving you a v-neck which sort of helps with the look of it this is the sky blue color and as you can see i've just broken the sort of box of blue just with a little necklace from envy 